Hello guys and what is up? It's been a while and sorry I'm looking a little crazy. Long day at work in gymnastics, but it's been good. Hope you guys are having a great day too. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me any health and fitness questions and I decided just to answer them on YouTube just to make it easier. I'm going to try to get as many as I can in. I don't want this video to be a million years, so we're just gonna go through what I can and maybe I'll make a part two. So, starting out, Marcus Anderson 96 says, do you work out your lats? Yes, lats are so great to work out, especially if you are a female and you wanna get that hourglass shape or like the V shape, that's gonna be mostly building up your lats. So it gives you that illusion of having a slimmer waist. So, little tip there. <laughs> German underscore muscle underscore E38 <laughs> asks, best workout for people that run out of breath faster than others. So literally any cardio, try to work on building up that endurance, so the baby steps. Start out small, like if you're running, go for 10 minutes and then walk. And then go another little bit and walk. Or you can do lots of functional training. With my clients, I like to give them a bunch of like long lists of random body workouts for time. That way they just keep going and building up that endurance is great. Scotty Husted asked, how do you control snacking? I'm a foodie, I love food, but number one, don't go to the store when you're hungry. That's like a huge one. I know it's hard sometimes, but just try your best. Another thing, try not to get so much unhealthy food in your house. Maybe go to the store and grab a lot of fruit, vegetables. That's what I like to do. That way I have a ton of just fruits and veggies to snack on or any like healthier options you can think of. And then eating bigger meals. That way you are more satiated throughout the day, like whole food meals, lots of protein. <laughs> Fly Girl Danny asks, what do you think about weightlifting three days per week? I think that's perfect, especially if you're starting out. Um, for a woman, I think it's really good to do push, pull, and then like abs and glutes one day. So push would be all your pushing exercises, starting out with legs like squats, any type of you know pushing movements, start with your compound movements, move into the smaller movements. And then I'll finish up with like chest and triceps, um, add in some shoulders that day. And then pull would be more like your deadlifts, your hamstrings, and then working more towards like back and biceps. Abs, obviously, lots of ab training, core so important. And then glutes, you know, glute bridges, um, kettlebell plie squats, anything like that, perfect. I don't know how to say these names, sorry if I mess up your name. Elaine Luc Lucero, Luc Lucero? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ask, what do you use to track your workouts? So I personally have been lifting for a while and I'm just in the gym to have fun right now because gymnastics was like so detailed focused. I'm just kind of enjoying it going in, but I do do online coaching and I have an app where you can literally track everything through it. It's amazing. I schedule everything out. That way you just have it all there on a calendar, tutorial videos and everything. But if you're interested, I do have an app where you can track everything and it's so helpful. Cosmic underscore Dark Angel asked, how old are you? This isn't really like a training question, but I am 19. Most people think I'm like 16 or they think I'm way older, but yeah, 19. Chantel underscore Jen SCH2 underscore <laughs> said, how can I lose fat while getting more toned? The most optimal way to get that toned look, wherever you are, if you're at like a healthy body fat percentage, just you want to tone down, I would say stay kind of where you are. Try to build muscle from there because you already have a good starting base. Try to put on muscle for a while. And then once you start like noticing you're getting a good like muscle definition, that's when you can start to go into a small calorie deficit, shed off the fat slowly while trying to maintain your strength training. And that's when you'll get that more toned look, which is amazing. But also, if you want to do it all together and start to like lose weight at the same time, just make sure to be training to progressive overload. You need to overload those muscles so you can build them up, but also trying to not go in too much of a calorie deficit or else you won't have any energy or yeah, you get the point. <laughs> the girl with big dreams, ooh, I love that. Ask, how do you control your diet without having to keep calculating macros? So personally, I actually haven't counted macros. I tracked calories for a while, trying to make sure I get in enough protein. I would suggest starting out, if you've never tracked calories, just do it at least like three weeks or something. 
That way you can know what's in food, know nutrition labels, start to kind of train your brain to what you're eating. So beneficial. Like if you don't know what's in food, it's kind of hard to understand what you're getting into. But yeah, if you've tracked for a while, then you just like slowly start to go out of not tracking anymore. And then it'll be really helpful because you already kind of know what's going on. Like when you look at food, you kind of have an eye for what you're eating and then you just go from there. Yeah. And then if you start to like fall off track, you know, every once in a while you can just track again, but don't let it like consume you and be obsessed with tracking. Holly Pie <laughs> says, how do you know when you need a rest slash deload day? It depends on how much you're training, how hard you're training. But yeah, try to at least take one day off. You can take active rest days, go out for a walk. If you don't like taking a complete rest day, you can still do something. Just don't make it as intense. That one is kind of up in the air because it really depends on what you're what your workouts are and everything. Ariana Dotman asks, what's your weekly slash monthly training schedule? So I explained this in a previous video. I can link that one down below if you wanna know. Um, but yeah, basically I've created a workout program that I love for me. I'm a gymnast slash like dancer, acro, all that stuff. So I make sure I have days where I train my skills and then other days I split up to push, pull. I do have like a full ab day. Just because core is really important for what I do. If you want a full ab day, let me know, I got you. <laughs> ben on B asks, how do you determine the amount of calories you should eat per day? I follow a deficit, but it stops working. Finding the amount of calories calories you eat in a day is going to take a lot of trial and error so don't get discouraged with yourself it takes time everything takes time if you're willing to work for it you will get your results you'll get there just like I said it takes time to determine the amount of calories you're gonna find your BMR and that's how many calories you burn in a day literally doing nothing so like while you're at rest if you were to do nothing all day, that's how many calories you are going to burn in a day. Go on different online calculators to try to find your BMR, try to kind of find an average, then go on to an app. You can use MyFitnessPal, I use Chronometer. You can enter all your info into the tracking apps and it'll kind of try to estimate how many calories you're gonna burn. Go to maintenance each day and if you find yourself like kind of gaining weight after a while, you know that you're eating too much. If you find yourself losing weight, you know that you're eating too little. So try to find that maintenance calories for a while. Once you find your maintenance calories, then you can start to slowly drop and that's when you'll notice that you're gonna be dropping weight. Try to go anywhere from like 300 to 500 calories under. I wouldn't go any more than that. But yeah, maintenance calories, then you drop weight from there by just literally lowering the calories in the day. Make sure to be getting enough protein in though. And also he was saying that he noticed that his weight is stopping. That can be due to so many reasons. A lot of the times once you lower your body weight, your body weight drops so you're not having to expend as much energy throughout the day just because you weigh less. And then another thing is sometimes your body can like start to adapt to the calories that you're eating. So make sure to be taking refeed weeks, let your body readjust and then you can go back into it. But yeah, if you have any more questions on all this and if I didn't explain too well because sometimes I just ramble on, um, make sure to message me and I will definitely get back to you. Peptar25 asks, how to up my weight? I eat a lot but no results. That could be due to so many factors. Again, that's one thing about health and nutrition. Hard to make videos sometimes because it's a very personalized. That is why I do online coaching so I can go one-on-one -on -one with you being like very detailed into whatever your situation is. If you are not tracking your food and you're struggling, sometimes, like I said, you do have to go into that tracking just so you understand. You don't have to do it forever, but just so you can learn. Because sometimes you have to do things you don't exactly want to do in order to get to where you want to go. That's the way I look at it. But yeah, if you don't know how many calories you're supposed to be eating a day, definitely suggest trying that out first. You can't just kind of go into this blind or just eat random foods. Definitely try to go to maintenance, eat above that. So, you know, instead of being in a deficit, you're gonna be in a calorie surplus. If you don't see results, you could be doing more activities and thinking that you are eating enough, but you could be burning way more calories than you think you are in a day. I know it can be hard, so try to find some calorically dense foods if you are struggling getting in enough food in a day. Fats are higher in calories, so fats are good. Just try not to do too much fat. Try to stay away from like the saturated fats. Ryan underscore Beaven asks, Hey Sarah, huge fan, thank you. <laughs> What's your biggest moral challenge in an over-sexualized female fitness industry? Yeah, so in the fitness industry, honestly, 
everything we do is like so chill we're definitely all about our bodies like artwork we've trained hard for this we're just here proud of what we've done excited and we want to show people like you don't have to be afraid or like self-conscious of your body definitely positive mindset anyway i don't know what i exactly just said and i hope i got to like a lot of the questions i did have if you want to hear more questions answered let me know in the comments down below and if i didn't answer your question make sure to message me and i will get back to you on that other than that i hope you have a great week make sure to like and subscribe for more and i will be back next time i'm really trying to make youtube videos more guys okay you gotta encourage me and pump me up so i can make them because i'm so busy right now but i'm loving life oh i also want to encourage you guys you got this you are strong you are tough keep going keep working hard because you are amazing and you're gonna get there you just gotta push yourself that's all and if you need help getting pushed i'm right here so see you guys next time bye